Hey everybody, it's Travis again with Bug Out Survival Training. You can find us like always at BugOutSurvivalTraining.com. I'm going to go over packs and classes. Um, I don't think I've been really clear about what's involved or, or what you get, okay, for your dollar. We're going to have three packs, fully stocked, ready to go bags, okay. For any crisis, emergency, or survival situation, uh, shit hits the fan, whatever you want to call it. Okay, this is our premium, ready to go back. You don't have you don't have to add anything to this but water and your own personal needs. This has a lot in it. People go into sticker shock when they say fifteen hundred dollars, uh, but it is supposed to be rated. Um, this is a source pack. I think probably one of the best, most comfortable packs made. Uh, it comes with night vision, uh, gas mask, uh, it comes with a lot of things that most of those other packs out there do not come with. Uh, it's ready to go for any kind of situation that, me, that you may have to encounter or face. Okay, our other pack is just the get home bag. Okay, the get home bag is just what it says. If you're at work, you're at school, uh, you're in town someplace, your close proximity to your home or a safe location that you know you're going to go to and you're only maybe 10, 15, 20 miles away. And this pack here is designed to get you through two days. I'm going to say that's probably all you're going to probably get out of it. And uh, um, this one sells for I think $2.99. But uh, I think we're going to be wearing a special on here for too much longer for $250. i am going to have another pack. And this is going to be a good... This is going to be in between. This is going to be a combination of kind of both this pack and this pack. Your get home bag and your premium uh, bug out bag. It's not going to have a lot of the bells and whistles this one has. But it's going to be affordable. Um, this is probably going to run anywhere between, I'm going to say, three fifty and four hundred and fifty dollars. I haven't got quite, I haven't got it quite dialed in yet as far as the price. Uh, I know um, I put about ten of these together, and just word of mouth, they were gone. This is, I have to order again. This is the last one that I have. So <clears throat> keep that in mind. Uh, the other thing is that. All of my bags, it doesn't matter if it's this one, <clears throat> the get home bag, the premium bug out bag, or what they call the intermediate bag, okay, all of them come with a two day free survival class. Okay, if you live anywhere in the Richmond area, from the Richmond area all the way, and there are all parts, parts in between, there in DC, Maryland, Delaware, even parts of, of uh, Pennsylvania. Okay, you're not you're not that far from me. <clears throat> we're in a unique unique location. We were really out in the country, and uh, we don't have any higher regencies in this area. But we do have a couple of hotels and motels that are not very expensive and are surrounded by restaurants. So I mean, if you want to head down on a early on a Saturday, um, you take the class Saturday. Spend the night uh, uh, Saturday night and finish up the classes on Sunday and be home before it gets too late uh, on Sunday. <clears throat> Something to keep in mind. Um, the other thing is children. It is so important that children feel like they're a part of or they're involved in this. Okay, children 11 years of age or younger are free, okay, in the classes. <clears throat> they still get a pack. It's not the premium packs that uh, you see here, but they get a pack, they get food, they get light sticks, they get a number of different things. And one of the things that people don't realize is that even a small child, 
during in that age group, it's very easy for them to carry anywhere from a 10 to even a 20-pound bag. Okay, those aren't because <clears throat> kids come in all different sizes. It depends on you know how big the kid is or the child is or how strong they are. <clears throat> a child that can carry that much extra gear, whether it be 10, 15, or 20 pounds, is a huge asset. Okay. That's a lot of extra food. That means you're, it really adds to uh, the amount of time you can survive <clears throat> in your uh, bug out situation. Um, you're mu you have a much better chance of making it. Um, a child with a pack carrying just that much is, is a huge bonus. And like I said, it's very important that they uh, feel involved and they feel a part of it. Um, it makes them feel important. And, uh, um, that's, like I said, that's, that's, that's big uh, for them. They, they, they really enjoy it. <clears throat> now, a lot of people, and you hear a lot of this, uh, they talk about colors of packs, what kind of pack you need. Uh, <clears throat> you need to be the gray man <clears throat> and not to, uh, uh, and blend in to the background or, you know, uh, pretty much try to not to be seen um, and they tell you you know you don't want to have a camel backpack or wear camel clothing and you don't want to you know do this or do that I got news for you if you're carrying if you're wearing any kind of pack I don't care what color it is I don't care what style it is or how you have a pack when you're heading out and I don't care what color they're, they're gonna know you have food gear and equipment in a survival situation. Now, one of the secrets to, and I, I've heard all the people that, you know, are supposedly the experts, um, is that it doesn't matter what color your pack is, or how it's packed, or how it looks, okay? The most important thing that you can do, and please remember this, the more proactive you are, the whole lot better chance you have of making it in a survival situation. Okay. If you hesitate, it's too late. You know, you've heard that saying. The other thing, too, is that if you're having to react to a situation already at hand, chances are pretty good that it's already too late. When Go by your instinct. Go by your, 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 that special sixth sense that we all have. When you feel like it's ready to go, go. Don't wait. Now, one of my videos, I kind of have spoken about, uh, uh, you know, leaving your car. If you're going to drive your car, drive your car as far as you can, okay, before you abandon it. And I say that is that <clears throat> when you see the incredible amount of traffic, that was generated during Hurricane Katrina, Harvey, just this last one, Florence, and uh, uh, even some of the evacuations that took place in California during those fires. Uh, people panic, uh, they're not thinking, you see accidents on the road, and in a lot of cases, you could be there for hours and hours and hours and not go anywhere, okay? Um, <clears throat> if they can clean the mess up at all. You know, you look at uh, a lot of different things happening on the road, and it takes them a long time to get them cleared up. When you get to that point, and it seems pretty, pretty fruitless that you're not going to be able to drive anywhere, pull your car off the side of the road, okay? Get your gear and walk out of it, okay? And just start walking. You can come back for your car later um, if that's... A possibility or if that's an option uh, it may or may not be it depending on you know the emergency situation at hand so <clears throat> keep that in mind remember you get free two-day survival class when you order any three of our fully equipped bags okay children from 11 years and younger are free but they still get a pack and they still become a part or still made to feel like they're a part of uh, the uh, survivability of the family. Um, like I said, it makes them feel important. And if you already have a pack and you just want to take the class, 
the class is two days long and it's just two hundred dollars and you're gonna have a lot of fun I buy lunch okay and uh, um, uh, you're gonna learn a lot um, two-day class for two hundred dollars and I, I have all kinds of little handouts and giveaways that I have on there too when it comes to like survival gear so something to think about and always remember don't leave your survivability in the hands of somebody else. Take responsibility for your own survivability. Take responsibility for your own life and actions. I mean, that's so important. It's paramount. Um, if something happens to somebody in your group, and the person in that group is the one that has the training, and the knowledge, and the skill, um, where are you going to be at then? What are you going to do? You know, it's very important that you, you that you learn those the knowledge and the skill that it takes to uh, uh, survive because any of these eventually sooner or later the food's gonna run out and you have to turn to other forms of nutrition whether it's wild edibles wild animals um, but you have to hunt fish trap snare uh, whatever it takes but <clears throat> Check us out, check out our bags. All of our bags also come with a lifetime warranty. If anything breaks or doesn't work or you have a problem with anything, all you have to do is send it back and I'll replace it for you, free of charge. But I have, you have to send it back to me for the simple fact that I have to be able to look at it and make sure there was no abuse uh, to the product uh, at, you know, when, when it was busted or broken. Uh, most times it's not. Um, and I, maybe, there's only been a handful of times that anyone has sent anything back to us. So, <clears throat> most of the stuff we have is, is um, all stuff that I've tested and friends of mine have tested out for ourselves. And everything we have is very durable, um, holds up really, really well, and uh, um, will go a long way. Um, a lot of the stuff in these packs will last you a long time. Uh, far more than uh, they're gonna last a whole lot longer than your food. That's why it's important that you learn some of those other uh, skill sets and uh, uh, you work on your knowledge as far as that goes. So, that being said, um, I think that's gonna wrap it up for this. Uh, I've had a couple of people asking me, a little confused about the packs, um, but uh, uh, all more packs are solid packs um, that will last you for just about ever. When th that situation does come about, whether it's you know in a week, a month, a year, two years from now, you know you can pick up one of these packs and you're ready to go. All you gotta do is add water and your own personal items. Okay, um, you some emergency comes up and you have to get home and you live on the other side of the town, it's you know, 15, 20 miles away, get the get home bag. Get the get home bag, and your your chances of getting there uh, without having to worry about dehydration or uh, lacking food. And these are designed for two days because you know we can never we 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 like to think of the best case scenario, but for the mo most part we have to worry about the worst case scenario. And if that's 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 fact. So if you can't get home one day, at least you can get home the next. So, five to seven day pack, two day pack, three, four day pack. They're all here. Please check us out at BugOutSurvivalTraining.com and like always, stay safe, always be prepared, and uh, I'll see you next time.